stay out of our business. It is more complex than you are making it out to be. And worse still, you are imposing unreasonable penalties. Well, this is the gist of the message the Retail Association of Kenya, Retrack, has fired at the Competition Authority of Kenya following the 1.1 billion shilling fine it has imposed on retail chain Carrefour, owned by Majid Al Afutem. The retailer's umbrella body has faulted the CAK for making a decision that has further reaching implications than necessary. The statement by Retrack reads on part, and I quote, We urge for a comprehensive consideration of the dynamics involved, including utilizing dispute resolution mechanisms that are embedded in the contracts. Uh, so the association further argues that the CAK's decision goes against the best interests of Kenyans. It says, quote, the sanctity of the freely agreed upon and signed contracts between suppliers and retailers needs to be always upheld. It must be noted that the negotiations are meant to guarantee the lowest possible prices for the benefits of the Kenyan customers. Billion, uh, 1.1 billion shilling figure uh, has unsettled the retailers as the statement continues to say, quote, we are troubled by the prospect of very punitive penalties being imposed on one of the retailers. Such measures can have far-reaching consequences, not only for the affected retailer, but also for the industry as a whole. And um, it adds that it uh, encourages a thoughtful review of the potential impact of these sanctions on the retail ecosystem. The latest is the unfolding situation where the regulator has slapped the retailer with not only the 1.1 billion shilling fine for abusing its superior bargaining power, but has also ordered it to refund, that's the Carrefour, uh, more than 17 million shillings. But just how did it get here? NTV's Brian George explains. Majid al Time, the operator of Carrefour Hyper and Supermarkets, has seen its operator model brought to the spotlight after its record 1.1 billion shillings fine from the competition watchdog. Carrefour charges its suppliers at least three types of non-negotiable rebates that the Competition Authority of Kenya reports are as high as 12%. In a statement, the CAK says investigations determined that the retailer required its suppliers to provide free products and pay listing fees for every new branch opened, as well as post employees to the supermarket's branches. When Carrefour is opening its uh, outlets uh, in other areas, uh, the way the supplier uh, is uh, infringed in this particular matter is whenever the retailer opens up uh, outlets in other places, they were required to provide cartons and also employees to manage the shelf, uh, which uh, the supplier uh, meet all the costs on, on behalf of the, of the retailer. The retailer's operating model was first brought to the limelight in April 2019 when Orchards Limited, a yogurt supplier, complained to the Competition Authority of Kenya CAK over the requirement to pay a listing fee of 50,000 shillings for each product sold in its stores. Following investigations, Carrefour was slapped with a fine of 124,768 shillings, calculated as 10% of the gross revenues from the sale of suppliers' products, in addition to the reimbursements of rebates and losses from the termination of the suppliers' agreements. Carrefour objected to the determination and appealed the matter to the competition tribunal before escalating the matter to the High Court after an adverse outcome at the tribunal level. Woodlands Company Limited and Pwani Oil Products filed complaints in August and December 2022 respectively, further opening up the lead to the operations of the Majid Al Time run retailer and its relationship and contractors with suppliers, which the competition watchdog finds to be lopsided. According to suppliers who sought anonymity, Carrefour employs two types of rebates, fixed and royalty rebates and progressive rebates. Fixed and royalty rebates are usually charged monthly at a percentage set by the retailer irrespective of the sales turnover, while progressive rebates are charged annually with the rate charged being adjusted on an annual basis. 
following complaints by Pwani Oil, Kafo terminated its dealing with the manufacturer despite there being a negotiation process intermediated by the CAK. Kafo did not renege its contractual clauses with other suppliers to remove clauses amounting to abuse of buyer power despite orders to do so. Kafo equally refused to reply or comment on the case for our editorial consideration. Brian George, Otieno, NTV, Nairobi. Okay, and you have...